Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use classcalc.com, which is a free online graphing calculator, uh, to create a box plot and also to find the five number summary. So you have a couple of options with this. One thing that you can do, if you have a really small data set where there's only like six or seven data points, you can go ahead and go into stat, the distribution plots, and then choose a box plot. Okay, and then you can enter your data. I'm just gonna make up some data points and you can add the values in there and it will create a box plot for you. Um, if you hit the quartiles, the quartiles will give you your minimum value, your first quartile, your median, your third quartile, and your max value. Okay, the exclude outliers will eliminate any outliers in the data set. There aren't any outliers right now, so I'm just going to add another point to this. Let's say that I have another point that's at 15. You can see that it now adds 15 as a separate X and it stops the whisker at the last data point that falls below 15. So in this case, it would stop at eight on my whisker here. An outlier is anything that is more than 1.5 IQRs above the third quartile. And the IQR is found by doing seven, the third quartile minus the first quartile. So in this case, 7.5 minus 4.5. And so if I do three times 1.5 and add it to the 7.5, that's how this value was given. So if you wanna separate out the outliers, then you would just hit the exclude outliers button. So let's say that instead of just having a few data points like this one has, I have quite a few data points. And so I don't wanna to have to type in all of the values separated by a comma. Or I might be working in an online homework platform that allows me to nicely download all of my data from the homework section into Excel. So what you can do is you can first download it into Excel and then you can come into file and export and you can change the file type. What you need to change it to is a CSV file. And so you're just gonna click this and save it as a separate file. I've already saved it, so I don't wanna save it again, but you would select the CSV comma delimited file. Okay, so like I said, I had already f uh, saved that file before starting this video. So what I'm gonna do is hit the plus button, the table import, and it pulls up any CSV files that I have in this folder. So this is the one that I happen to have just saved. So when I do that, notice that it now does put all 28 values in to a table for me. So I didn't have to type those with the commas separated in there. So then what I can do is I can come over here to the stat and I can go to the distribution plots and choose the box plot. And then I can use the variable name for this table. So X1 is the variable name, so I can just type X1, and it will automatically create a box plot for the data in the table above. Okay, um, I can exclude outliers to see if there's any outliers, and we can see that there aren't any outliers in this one. And then if I click on the quartiles, it will give me my five number summary. So I've got the minimum is zero, first quartile is 1.5, the median or the second quartile is 3.5, the third quartile is 6.5, and the maximum value is 11. So it's really easy to be able to upload data from a table into here so that you can work with the data and you don't have to type the individual values. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.